Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Turner. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you tonight. A judge giving preliminary approval to the $641 million settlement in the Flint water crisis. A U.S. District Federal Judge, Judith Levy, granting that preliminary approval. The settlement filed on behalf of thousands of children, adults, property and business owners, saying they were exposed to lead when the city of Flint switched its water supply in 2014. Investigators looking for leads after a man was shot and killed at a Saginaw County Hooters. Police say 38-year-old Donald Patrick Jr. was targeted, shot in the parking lot of the Cotchfield Township restaurant after closing. The shooter ran toward the nearby Walmart on Bay Road. No arrests have been made. New details in the attack on the Capitol. A Michigan man in custody for his alleged role. Michael Fox of Wixom charged with five crimes, including assault and obstruction of law enforcement after reportedly striking police officers with a hockey stick. Prosecutors say Fox should be detained through the weekend as the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. sends additional evidence to support permanent detention. Some of that evidence includes body camera footage of the alleged incident. He also faces charges of knowingly entering a restricted building, aiding and abetting, and impeding any official proceeding of Congress. A Clio teenager convicted in the fatal rock throwing incident on I-75 is released on parole. Kyle Anger, the oldest teenager in a group accused of killing 32-year-old Kenneth White in 2017, released from prison Wednesday on supervised conditions. Anger was charged as an adult and is accused of throwing the rock at White. The four other teens in the case are awaiting their sentences. Police in Owasso warning drivers about leaving vehicles running unattended after a series of auto thefts this week. At least three vehicles stolen between Tuesday and Wednesday, two of which were left running with the keys in the ignition. Police say a remote starter is the safest and only legal way to preheat your vehicle if you're not with it. And now here's Brian with a look at our weather. All right, thanks very much, Frank. As we look back on our Thursday, boy, what a treat it was. Sunshine, blue sky, and even a round of briefly milder temperatures that saw a lot of us get into the upper 30s or even a select few of us getting into the low 40s. Catches, it's all a one-day special, and we're going right back into more typical January cold from Friday on into the upcoming weekend. And here's why. We take a look at the first one five sky tracker tonight. There's an Arctic cold front positioned over the UP that will be gradually working its way southeast across the state later tonight. It's already beginning to instigate some new snow showers on the north and west side of the state, and those will become more numerous here in mid-Michigan as that front sweeps through between about 9 p.m. and midnight. And not only will that front be bringing along a new round of snow showers with it, but also a new round of colder temperatures, like I mentioned. And on the first one five hour by hour forecast, as we head to the nine o'clock hour, we start to see that Arctic front clearing the Mackinac Straits. Not only will it be producing some more numerous snow showers here locally, but it may even drag in a few slightly heavier snow squalls that could lead to some brief snow coatings on some area roads. Same story as we head toward the midnight hour with the Arctic front now positioned between about uh, M55 and the Tri-Cities. It continues southeast of the region as we head into the overnight period, but now the winds will not actually be backing off behind it, but rather just changing direction. More of a west northwest wind as we head into tomorrow morning will produce mostly cloudy skies for all of us to start the day, but also likely some lingering snow showers for you folks near, say, West Branch, Gladwin, Houghton Lake, and Clare. And then we'll see that activity continue throughout most of the day. By midday, it's more of a you know slight chance for some here and there lake effect snow showers becoming a little bit more numerous as we hit the afternoon and early evening hours. And these uh, not likely to produce significant accumulation, but could again you know make for some slick conditions on the roads. Low temperatures tonight back into the low 20s by daybreak. Scattered snow showers likely, but it's going to stay breezy. We'll have a west northwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. So those lows in the low 20s are going to feel more like the teens, if not single digits. And really no major recovery for tomorrow. High of only 24. Slight chance for those on again, off again snow showers. Wind chills likely still hovering in the teens and uh, single digits throughout the day with a west northwest wind at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now we'll start to ditch the wind for the first half of the weekend on Saturday with more of a blend of clouds and sunshine, but temps don't move. Still a high of 24. Slight chance of uh, another round of light snow coming in for Sunday, 28 the expected high, and then a dry first half of next week with Monday through two, uh, Monday through Wednesday, that is, seeing varying amounts of clouds and sunshine and high temps in the middle to upper 20s to around 30. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.